Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and welcome to my DVD and video game update. And this will be my final DVD video game update of the year 2014. Man, I cannot believe the year has flown by fast. The first two movies I'm about to show you are movies that I bought from Target. Thanks to this Target gift card that my family from Colorado gave to me. See, it's these penguins moving around it's a target gift card i love this card it's a 25 dollar gift card but the first one i'm gonna show you is guardians of the galaxy i'm hooked on a feeling i'm high on believing that's right i own guardians of the galaxy i really had a blast with this movie this is an awesome movie i thought the action sequences were really great the storyline was a lot of fun it was very well made it had its sense of humor to it guardians of the galaxy is a movie that i have been wanting to buy now since I had that $25 Target gift card, I did want to buy the DVD and Blu-ray edition, but the Blu-rays sold out. So, I had no choice but to get the DVD. It was a visual experience on the big screen, and, it's good, and I know it's going to be a visual experience just by watching it on my TV over there. So, Guardians of the Galaxy, I can't wait to revisit it. Rocky Raccoon is fucking awesome, and... Yeah, I'm just glad I own this movie now. Now, the last $5 that I bought with this awesome gift card I have is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Now, I actually reviewed this movie earlier this year for Thanksgiving, so if you guys want to check that out, you're more than welcome to check it out. But I decided to find a $5 movie, and I happened to find this. This is a movie I have been wanting to own for a while. Steve Martin and John Candy, the two of them are really great here. The movie is hilarious, and this movie's rated R because it only has really one scene of cussing. Really, when you think about it, it has only one scene of cussing. Take that out. This could have been an easy PG-13 movie, honestly. But, man, that one scene of pure F-bombs by Steve Martin, possibly the best F-bomb scene I've ever seen. But not only is this movie very funny, but it was definitely very heartfelt because you do feel bad for John Candy. Not only does it blend the comedy well, but it blends heart well, especially when it gets towards the end of the movie is where I felt there was more touching moments going on and overall i just loved planes trains and automobiles it's one of the best comedies i've ever seen in my life personally it's a lot of fun to watch it's just so great all around so there you go planes trains and automobiles now the next movie i'm about to show you is from best buy and it is dawn of the planet of the apes now just like with guardians of the galaxy I wanted to buy the Blu-ray DVD edition, especially since the Blu-ray cover is black and it's sold out. I really can't complain because I own this movie now. It is one of the best movies I've seen this year. Keep a lookout for it once I start doing my top 10 best movies of 2014 list. It's definitely going to be in the list without a doubt. This movie is just so fantastic on a visual scope to the storyline scope to the acting scope and yes the apes were terrific the acting and the apes are great but i think even on the humans level the humans did a really great job especially with jason clark who i thought was just as fantastic in this film just as andy circus was as caesar and of course Toby Kibble, he just knocks it out of the park as Koba, being one of the most menacing villains I've ever seen in quite a while. And it's a fucking ape. Yet he was so menacing. It's a movie where you could connect with the characters, you could connect with the storyline, you could connect the reasons of why the characters are doing this, and overall flat out fantastic. Rise of the Planet Apes was really good, but this is definitely better. And Matt Reeves, terrific job. You really outdone yourself, man. So, Don the Planet Apes, Best Buy for $19.99. The next movie I bought is actually a movie from Disney Movie Club, and that is the Blu-ray DVD edition for Sleeping Beauty. It is the Diamond Edition, and oh my god, look at the slipcover. Like just wow 
So yeah, it has the DVD and Blu-ray. I got it from Disney Movie Club. It was $20, $19.99, not a bad price at all. And it has been a while since I've seen Sleeping Beauty, but I mean, I grew up with this movie. I really, really enjoyed it as a child. I just remember Maleficent being a scary villain. I just remember being terrified by her. I was terrified by her when she turned into that dragon. Oh man. This movie brings back so many memories, but I do remember watching it countless times when I was little. So yeah, Sleeping Beauty from Disney Movie Club. Now we're gonna get into video games. The first video game I bought is Spider-Man 3. Whoa, look at me, I'm swinging away. I'm Spider-Man, whoa, yeah, yeah, look at me, yeah, oh. I'm spotting motherfuckers! I bought Spider-Man 3 at Entertain Mart for only $21, $20.99. And no, it's not the movie. Once again, it's the video game. Although I do really like the movie. That's just my opinion. As I'm playing it, it's definitely a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying playing this video game. And you know what else makes this awesome? Bruce Campbell. The guy who is in the Evil Dead movies, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, those three movies, he's the narrator for this video game. I know, right? He has that kind of sarcastic personality, pretty much what you would see in the Evil Dead movies. It's pretty much you hearing Ash himself just narrating this whole video game as Spidey is swinging, as he is doing his missions. It's not just because of Bruce Campbell being the narrator for this video game, but it's also because, you know, everyone that was involved in the third one, they were here to do their voices. It's a 2007 game, and I know at that time, graphics aren't as advanced as they are now. But I even thought the graphics here looked pretty good. I love swinging as Spider-Man. That's always my favorite aspect about these Spider-Man video games, just swinging away. I could always go for a nice escapism just by... Swinging as Spider-Man. Pretty much me being the Spider-Man. And um, if you've seen my Christmas special, What Did 22 Tiger Do Get For Christmas? The sequel, you know that in that video, as Santa and the Penguin were presenting, me and my brother were both sharing the Xbox One. The Xbox One is a gift from my aunt. The first Xbox One game that we, me and him, have is... Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, so I guess now that I have the Xbox One, from time to time I'll show you the video games that either me or my brother got. My brother actually bought this one with the Christmas money that he got for Christmas. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I haven't gotten to play this yet, but I play the Call of Duty games, I like playing them. They're not like what my all time favorite video games, but I'm definitely going to be playing this game a lot with my brother or like with my friends. So. It looks like it could be a, definitely a fun time. And that's really it. Comment down below your thoughts on Guardians of the Galaxy, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Sleeping Beauty, the Spider-Man 3 video game, and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Oh, shit, that's right. And look, Kevin Spacey is there. And before I do end this, you guys, I do want to say that I did do What Did 22 Tiger Do Get For Christmas, the sequel. And if you guys haven't checked it out, I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this video. I'll even leave a link to my original special as well. Also, Adam Haskell, WWE Fan 0599, and me all did our top five anticipated films for spring 2015. I will leave a link to that at the end of the video and in the description below as as well. So everyone, I hope you have a happy new year. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! Bring in the magic. Further. My name is Ben Quinn. Yo, motherfuckers, my name is Santa. I'd like to fuck some bitches. Right. WWE Fan 0599. And we're all, I am wearing this Iron Man mask. It's because Stan Lee is the reason we're getting 